everything is perfect for your proposal this afternoon. Thank you. Mm. And uh, you'll put this ring in the champagne glass. Oh. Monsieur, do you not think that's a little, uh, how you say in English, cliché? It's cliché. Ah, I'm glad you agree, so you'll not put the ring in the champagne glass. No, the English word for cliché is cliché. Oh, and the definition of that word is engagement ring in champagne glass. Uh, yeah, what's the French word for douche? Oh, it's douche. Right, and the definition of that word is you. Very good, monsieur. She's here. Oh, monsieur, she's beautiful. If she does not say yes to you, I hope you don't mind I put my lapel on. Go, now. Hi. Hi. Oh, baby, I love this place. I know. I have a very engaging afternoon, mademoiselle. Oh, good to see you. Okay, you were right. I'm really glad you talked me into it. Yeah, we had our first official date here. Yeah, six years ago. Oh, five years and 11 months. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, cheers. To you. To us. Right. Angie, well, I... Yeah, I... <laughs> no, you, you go, go first. first. No, no, you, you go. go. Oh, my God. God. I'm gonna go. Angie? I love you. I love you. Right. And when I'm with you, my heart feels like it's a burst. I feel it too. Great. And that's why I asked you here today, actually, was, um, um, Paul? I, what? Will you marry me? What? Ah! <laughs> We're getting married! Finally, I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. It's Perfect, it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to call your sister. She's gonna be so jealous. But she... What's wrong? Do you not want to marry me? I mean, I did. I do. I do want to marry you, but you're sort of cutting my d off here. Stop! What? It's emasculating. So, marrying me makes you feel like less of a man? I'm not saying. I'm saying that I'm the guy. I'm the one who's supposed to propose. Says who? I don't know. Everyone, society, tradition, your mother, every time I see her. That is so misogynistical. I just saw this happening a little differently. Yeah, well, me too, four years ago. That's not fair. No, 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 not fair is sitting around for six years waiting for the love of your life to ask you to marry him, dreaming of the day for six years. Five years and 11 months. When you finally get the chance to say, yes, yes, of course I'll marry you. No, oh, look, even if it was six years, which it wasn't, Angie, six years is not that long in the grand scheme. <laughs> <laughs> it's half a decade. Plus one. Oh my. I was counting. Oh yeah. My ovaries! It's been five years and eleven months. We weren't even official until May. Exactly. You were afraid of commitment then. Of course you'd be afraid of it now. Oh yes. Yes, yes. Woo! How long have you been holding that in? Six years? No! Five years and 11 months. You're making a scene. I'm making a scene? Excuse me, hi. Excuse me, hi. Am I making a scene? Because I love my boyfriend and I want to spend the rest of my life with him? See, I wanted to do it in private, but no, no, no. You had to come here tonight. You wouldn't take no for an answer. So I called the hostess, I made arrangements. There's a goddamn Brad fan in the back waiting to play Don't Stop Believing if you ever said yes. Angie, the reason I asked no, you No, you have been dragging your feet for six years. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Five years and love gifts. So I took over because I love you, and I thought if I just take the pressure off, you'd say yes. Oh, 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 but tradition. Well, f tradition. It ain't f you, Paul. Just admit it. You were never going to propose to me, and you have the audacity to suggest I'm cutting off your balls by asking you to share your life with me. Maybe, maybe you don't have the balls to say yes. I was going to propose. I had the ring and a goddamn glass of champagne. just threw champagne in my face, and now you're proposing. I love you. It better be a big ass ring.
more thing? Um, can you? So far. Like, all right. Can you hold that? Yeah. Can you pull it out? Can you pull it out? You present it, and then you hold her hand, and then you. What's happening? Oh my God! What's <laughs> happening? No! What is happening? You tell her that you love her very much. <laughs> and then you, um, you get down one on one knee, like a man. And then you say, Are you really doing this right now? <laughs> yes. You say, From the moment I first met you, um, I've been trying to make you laugh. <laughs> and every now and again, I've thrown champagne in your face. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, but I think. We've had more laughs than tears. Yeah. And I um, just want to have more laughs with you. So will you marry me? I think I'm going to be <laughs> Yes, I will. <laughs> all of ours. We didn't film a thing. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> oh my god, I think I will be sick. Mm. There's a glass of champagne on the bar, and you can throw it in my face. No! Oh, what? Why would I have to get ready with you guys? We gotta this get out of here. Yeah. But really, Jeff? Like, Thanks, everyone. Congratulations! Yay! So Let's go to the Hamptons. Yay! Except we're not going to the Hamptons. Um, we're we're not going to the Hamptons. Are we really not? No. Um, but we are going to a hotel. Uh, and. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I just needed to make sure that you didn't have to work tonight. So, we're, we're not going to the Hamptons, but you have a bag already packed. We're going to a location to be determined. And, but for now, you're going to sit, you're going to relax, we're going to reset this restaurant. You can call your parents. I feel like she would pass out. Come here. <laughs> We're not going to the Hamptons? No, baby. 